loved about this band is the fact that there's a genuine attempt to try and really be inclusive in terms of dreaming a, uh, an Africa that actually has many, many facets. Here, stuck in the backwater, provincial backwaters of Cape Town, we don't tend to understand and grasp the rich, complex and diversity of the work that's out there. And I think what you guys have tried to do, I mean, it's the intention, not just the achievement, what is stronger than the achievement is that there's a real genuine desire to try and actually bring as much of African art down here to the Cape and open it up and create that healthy interface. And that's what I love most um, in terms of the space. It's seeing names I couldn't recognize or spell, you know, um, and looking at art that felt different to me. Um, some of it felt bizarrely old-fashioned, some of it felt quirky and weird, but what I, what I did feel most importantly was that I wasn't in some kind of antiseptic contemporary art fair. That's what I loved about it. <laughs> One particular corridor, absolutely, I adore. Um, this is the most vivacious pop sort of um, hub, where it had this sort of revolving tubular structure and these weird blue water-like tubes pouring out. And I love the entire room, the brightness, the positivity, um, the, the absurdism of it was for me particularly delightful. It wasn't serious. I mean, I brought my students in, exposing them to visual culture even though these are photography majors, so they could look at anything that attracted their attention. Um, and try and find a way to speak to the artists, speak to the um, organizers, find out what art means now, um, why African art has the kind of traction it has globally. Is this just a fetish, is this just a new commodity, or is Africa giving something back to the world that's really profound? I mean, if you uh, remember the Beaker, I've been saying this over and over and over, Beaker's argument that Africa will give back the world a human face. Is that the role of our art now? Is that why after 500 years of colonization, African art has become more interesting to people? Or is it just another sort of sideshow? I don't know yet. We don't, we don't know exactly how significant our impact will be. But obviously I'm optimistic it will be global and truly um, sustainable and nurturing. This fair, more than the other one, is clearly more than the Cape Town Art Fair, is one that actually is designed to foster young talent um, and to grow it. I mean, you were talking about the graffiti workshop that you're doing next week, for example, um, or the work that comes through the space. Everybody needs a platform and a space in which to express themselves. And I think this year and last year, this is what that art fair really tries to do. Um, its principle and its heart is in the right place. The key thing now is traction. It's people buying, it's people sort of um, fostering and supporting. And in addition to institutions like moments like this in, in, in the year, we need to have strong community art centers um, working hand in hand with that art fair, with its cap, with its great more, you know, and build those spaces and build opportunities and break down the economic barriers and the class and the culture barriers and to create a truly inclusive art world.